All right, guys, your boy Top Drop, Top with a T, aka Mr. Slay this Thanks, guys. Out here, it is murky water. I'm actually in some murky water. I'm slinging around the new lore that I got. I finally got to try one of the uh, trick shads. I know I'm late to the party, but I love nothing but love for Buka over there. He does big things. That boy been out forever, putting out quality swim bait, quality everything, really, guys. The guy's just a genius when it comes to anything fishing related. But I'm throwing around on my Bass X. This is my St. Croix Bass X. Good bang for buck ride. I got it paired with a Concept Z Slide 13 fishing. This can handle this lure. Um, this is only like in a two ounce range. I did change the Go Mexis to them Fruity Pebbles even though I'm on that um, pitch black. Holla at your boy Big Country Wayne on that. Then I got 17 pound CXX Copali for the win. That's what I'm using for my smaller glides on uh, most of these smaller setups like this. So we're gonna get out here and we're gonna slay these things in that stained water. Let go. Follow guys. First blood on that Buka trick shack. I don't care if it's a little old one, it's a fish. There we go. There we go. Got that guy to commit. That trick shag, guys. Even in the tough conditions. It ain't tricky unless you got it. Because I got it from Buka. <laughs> this is what I like about this lure, guys, is it targets just about anything. I mean, one is Buka. Enough said. He been out for, he been out since Lil John been saying, yeah. <laughs> but it targets scorable bass. Hit him with the old Jimmy Hugh. <laughs> Let's get it. And then it targets giants also. So you get the best of both worlds. I do like this smaller profile stuff like this because uh, sometimes that's key. And then this is one of my favorite colors. I like that little pink hue in there. It's almost like an off bony sli uh, uh, style flavor and that pink hue right there. So that's, that's good, especially for stained water. That's a good thing. Here he comes. There you go. There he goes. Well, the longer you can suspend something in this area, the better your chances. It's a nice one. <laughs> that's what you want that's what you want that's what y'all gonna get y'all gonna get book in the face all day <laughs> we call that you bookie face bastard you take that in the face <laughs> Buka don't play no games son i hate to keep keep on yelling dude's name out but hey man when you make good product you make good product top drop going to support and gonna shout you out. Hit him with the old Jimmy Hugh. <laughs> Let's get it. Here we go. Phony will get them. You got these bad boys juiced up, son. There we go. We got them juiced up, guys. I might be calling, calling work and telling them I'm coming in late. We got some juiced up fish out here. I knew this one would get the bigger bite. Check that out. Phony alert. This is in stained water. Hey man, next time I hear somebody try to comment, Chad Jack, why you got all those glides on the boat? If you don't fish my area, then you don't know, son. 
If I don't see your points on anybody's group, averaging like mine, if I'm Giannis and you're Giannis's brother, Thiambo, get out of here. I ain't listening. Because <laughs> I average 30 and you average two. Let go. <laughs> Top drop the Greek freak. There we go. <laughs> uh, just the old chain pickerel. Just the old pickerel. Who's putting in all the work is this guy. I'll put it on camera. I ain't afraid to show it. It's a trick shot. That's one of the things I like to do on all my glide baits. You got to kind of cater it to your own lake, guys. The better you get this bad boy to get down there and suspend, I'm more of a slow sink suspend being I'm in a shallow lake. So super slow sink, almost suspend. I use Owner. He's a STX. He's a um, Esley XTX uh, two by. They're two by. So a little thicker gauge and a size two. And I got these threes on these owner split rings, hyper rings in a size three. That keeps this Buka swim bait where I need it to be. That keeps that trick shad nice, slow sink. Even if I wanted to fish it deep, I count it down, see it on pan optics, or I just keep it down there in their face in the shallow and kind of twitch it. I can be above the shallow grass and so on. 